Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I've painted this wallpaper for the Anne Frank room of my matchstick house. Now, a lot of this is going to be repetitive, so I may not talk throughout the entire video, but I want to show the entire process so there's no gaps missing and you can kind of understand it a little bit better. Now, I've already started, and I'm sorry the camera wasn't rolling, but all I've done was I've cut the paper down and I've painted down one layer of white acrylic paint and then a second layer of white acrylic paint with a little bit of yellow watercolors added in to give it a kind of aged effect. And I've also taken and added some green watercolor lines. Here you're seeing me take a, a damp paper towel and I'm just going to pat it away in certain spots to give it a kind of weathered look like um, sunlight and water has uh, faded the lines on the, on the, uh, the, uh, the wallpaper. That's why it's a little bit more, more so on the left hand side because there's a giant hole in the wall it's going to have a little bit more sunlight. I'm just going to take a bunch of varieties of browns and colors to kind of give it a little bit of dirt effect. I'm just taking some brown watercolor here. I put it on kind of dry and then added some water to it with the, with the paintbrush and then I'm going to pat it in with my fingers. Now this gives it an effect that kind of looks like it's more uh, the paper saturated with the dirt rather than painted on. And again, it's just a variety of colors. You want to get a bunch of different ones in there. You're also going to want it to be a little bit uh, uh, smeared around with different techniques like the paintbrush and then your fingers can pat it away and that gives it a more natural look because it's going to be random uh, your fingers going to pick up a little bit more paint in spots and leave it a little bit messier in other spots <clears throat> and you want this to be really random uh, but you also want to be kind of uh, thoughtful of where it's going to be the dirtiest in the room the far left for me is going to be a little bit dirtier because there's the hole in the wall so it's going to have a lot more nature coming in it's gonna get a lot dirtier plus it's right next to the door people coming in the door they're gonna they're gonna touch the door frame it's gonna leave a little bit of dirt on the wall there here I'm using a black um, watercolor a lot of this is gonna be watercolors on top of acrylic uh, you can use acrylics I just I prefer not to uh, you see there I, I'm taking my finger and I'm also taking a damp paper towel and smearing it around that's gonna leave some cleaner spots leave some dirtier spots and it's just more natural. The reason I put a lot of black in the center there is it was looking a little too clean to me. You really want to work to what is appealing to your eye as you go along. Uh, the bottom right hand corner there it's going to have a lot of water damage because there's a hole in the ceiling so I did that for the mold. I'm putting the wallpaper up so I can see a little bit better of how the, the, the room looks while I'm painting it. Plus it kind of uh, it's a little bit easier for some techniques in a little bit. Um, now I'm just painting some yellow on the torn paper here, so it kind of gives it an aged glue look. When glue uh, ages, it, it turns yellow and kind of brownish. Uh, I've also peeled that back a little bit just to give a variety against the rest of the room. And then I'm just taking and adding some dirt around this this hole here, because in my mind I'm thinking there's going to be a hole here. If I was in this room, I'm going to go want to go look through the hole, so I'm going to be putting my hand against the wall and leaning over to kind of look through there so it's going to be pretty dirty towards the top. I'm going to take this black water uh, watercolor and I'm going to put it a lot uh, up in this corner and then just take water and add to it and it's going to run it run it down the wall. This is going to make it look kind of moldy. Uh, it's going to clean it up and then leave a black rim around it kind of like mold. Plus adding a lot of water to it is going to make it uh, warp the paper, make it the, the edges kind of curl, it's going to make it wavy just like wallpaper would if it's taking on a lot of water damage and it's really old. Now I'm going to let this kind of dry and I'm going to go over here to the left and work on that and let that dry so I can go back in and add uh, a variety of uh, runs because if it's still wet the, the watercolor wants to run along the wet spots so letting it dry sometimes and coming back to it's helpful. Uh, working with water uh, helps a lot like right now I'm putting on this this brown and I'm gonna take some blacks and and poke it in there and that's gonna swirl up a bit in the water and kinda of mix on the paper and then when it dries that kinda of swirls kinda of embed in it. This whole time you're doing this a lot of times when you paint you wanna take your water and clean it out every now and then because it's gonna get mucky and ruin your colors. What you want here is you actually want really dirty water because that kinda of helps with it uh, giving that look of, of being dirty. Now I'm just taking some browns and running it along the top there and adding the water because that's where a lot of the dust 
and dirt settles in a room is along the, the edges and the corners. So uh, when it rains or whatever and gets in there, it's going to run down the wall. And here I'm coming back to the corner, and as you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. I'm adding a variety of colors here with this with this darker green. Maybe it's the lines um, spreading out from water damage. I, I, I don't really have a reason for this other than I wanted a variety of colors and this green really worked here so that's why I did that. And don't worry, I, I zoomed in here in a second. I didn't realize it hadn't been zoomed in yet. You'll see a lot of the times I'm, I'm touching the paint. I really want to get my fingers on it it really helps smear it around and it adds a variety rather than just uh, brush strokes on there and you can see uh, from where we worked on this the last time the black in the background and then the, the new black on top of that is a little bit darker and it adds uh, a variety as well now I'm just going to be checking the rest of the, this corner here and I want to match up the wallpaper a little bit because I'm not painting them at the same time I really want it to be a, uh, a nice transition around the room here I'm just checking the rest of the room to see if there's anything I want to add to it and uh, I just paint a little bit of black on that corner it was looking too clean to me now this is a I'm, I've come back a couple hours later and this is really why I like that plastic um, acrylic being down is because this is a couple hours later and I was still able to take a water and kind of clean it up a bit I put some water down and with that same green as earlier I kind of poked into that <clears throat> and as you saw it kind of spread out and that really helped uh, with a more natural look okay here I'm just taking my shelf I've built I've dapped it in some black paint and I put it against the wall here so I can kind of see where it's at and I'm going to uh, to try and paint around where it was going to be and kind of keep the center of that clean because with the shelf being where it was at the dirt's going to settle around it the room's going to get really messy and then when the shelf falls the the place where that shelf was at is going to be uh, a lot cleaner than the rest of the room so I'm just going to do a bunch of techniques to get that effect in place and then this is really just the same as the rest of the room so I'm going to leave you here to watch the rest of this video uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Follow me on Twitter. You can see some updated photos as I go along and you're not having to to really wait for these videos. Um, thank you for watching and I really hope that this helps you uh, understand a little bit more about painting some wallpapers for your room. Probably not going to be as always as dirty as mine or as run down, but uh, maybe you can take some of these techniques and apply it to what you're doing. So thank you for watching and have a good day.